This is another video in the Managing Sales Activities Through Dashboards uh, kind of series. Um, notice that I have two tabs open for Dynamic CRM. One is my Sales Activity Dashboard for the last seven days. And I'm going to be looking at Ryan Redmond. That's who I'm logged in as. And I currently see the current status is that there's 11 emails. You can tell by the blue here listed and I'm going to be adding a phone call. Uh, the way I do this is I have two tabs open. The second tab I have my active accounts and in our system we kind of manage by ratings. So I'm going to filter by ratings and I'm going to only select maybe my top A1 and 2 and 3 ratings and I'm going to drill into this company called Eclaris. They're the next one that I'm going to call on my list. And from here, I'm going to check a couple of things. Uh, in our system, uh, we kind of, uh, one of the metrics that we look at is number of employees and annual revenue. Uh, and then based on those two things, we'll rate a customer uh, A1, 2, or 3, so forth and so on. Um, one of the tools that we will use is Insights. It's a free add-on from Dynamic CRM. Um, and I have the ability to update the account information. You can notice here that uh, Insights is uh, looking like it has the name right. If I click this uh, icon with the arrows, it opens up a window that shows me how Dynamics is seeing Eclaris. And it looks like it's pretty spot on. It's giving me the SIP code, annual revenue, and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and update the account from this information. Notice that uh, Dynamics said that it synced everything OK. And then it's going to refresh my window. Notice now that I have a number of employees along with annual revenue, uh, address, and so forth has been added. Once I've completed making sure that the account is up to date, I want to actually make a phone call. And so I will actually drill into, I have only the one contact listed, but I might have several. But I'll want to drill into the contact. So I click on Tim Craig here. Uh, CRM will refresh to bring up Tim Craig's information. And notice that I'm now on the contact. Tim Craig has the contact information, and I can make the phone call. Um, as I'm making the phone call, or right after, I can come over to Activities, and I can say click Add Phone Call, and I can type in um, left message for Tim. I can add the time. Uh, it was outgoing, I can click left voicemail, and I can hit OK. You'll see that once I hit OK, it says that the, the phone call was completed. Uh, it was today. And when I go over to my dashboard, I'll want to refresh my dashboard just to verify that that phone call was made and that the system correct correctly uh, recorded that it was made by me. And you can now see that there's a small sliver of an orange here, along with the 11 previous blue emails that I had. And to just double check, I can once again go over to the details of the last seven days activities. I'll open this up. This is showing everybody. So if I want to only see mine, I, I could just go to the last updated and filter that to say, OK, there's my latest one, that's an email. Um, if I want to filter uh, just on modified by me, current user, uh, and then you can see my phone call right there at the bottom, made today at 4.25 p.m. So that concludes uh, how to have a dashboard, uh, actually add a phone call for a new contact, and then verify that the phone call was made properly uh, in Dynamic CRM. Thanks.